people. LaCour here, Y Massage, Body Work and Natural Fitness. Um, and today we are going to talk about the psoas, releasing the psoas to help with low back pain um, using a kettlebell, a medicine ball, or if you have an exercise or physio ball, some people even use yoga blocks. Um, you can try these different things. You have to find what's comfortable for you. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what the psoas is. So the psoas is uh, one of your deepest core muscles that attaches to the front side of your spine and actually allows you to, your hips to flex, okay? So it's on the deep side of your front, front side of your, your, your spine and connects to the transverse side, lateral sides of your lumbar spine and then down into the hip flexors. It initiates this movement like when you're starting to cross your leg over so it does a little bit of an external rotation and also flexion of the hips. So when you're doing you know, common things like running, walking, and those sort of things, or just even sitting or sitting up tall. If you don't have a psoas muscle, if your psoas muscle wasn't there, you would not be able to sit up, you would not be able to walk, or you'd not be able to bring your hips up because the hip flexors only do so much. It seems like the hip flexors are what's you know, dominant in this motion, but actually the psoas initiates this movement, okay? So it helps with that transverse movement and a transverse pattern of walking and different things like that. Okay, so before I'm gonna get in this here, I'm gonna use a kettlebell uh, to release the psoas. Again, you can use a smaller medicine ball to do it as well, and you just do it with the same concept as I'm gonna do, as I do with a kettlebell, okay? Again, this helps with low back pain. If you have any other issues with your abdomen, any surgeries or anything like that, please be careful. Don't lay on this and, and you just had a surgery or appendix or your uh, hernia surgery or anything like that. So be careful of that. Um, but if it's an old thing, you will feel the fascia moving. So it might be good for you to release some of the fascia on the surface before getting to the psoas even. So it's a really deep muscle in your body. Okay, so let's get at it here. Uh, I'm going to take about a, uh, what do I have here, a 12K medicine ball. I mean a kettlebell, okay? Kettlebells down like so. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you from different angles. First, I lay with my, the side, you're gonna go just lateral to your navel and lay right on top of it, just lateral to the navel. If you're too low, you will feel some gas pain. You don't wanna feel gas pain, you wanna feel um, more like a referral pain. It'll refer into your lower back once you get to the psoas. But what you have to do is let your body begin to relax. It's kind of intense, you know, initially because, you know, it's your stomach. It's like someone punching you in your stomach slowly. So you want to just begin to let it just relax and settle over. And you'll start to feel that. Woo! Whoa. Right there. Good. So that's where it is. I almost don't want to get off the bell here but it feels good now one other thing that i tend to do too is i kind of do a little bit of an up dog and i'm kind of stretching long to get in and stretch that fascia out a little bit more then i lay back down Ooh, it gets more intense and i let my stomach relax again you should be feeling it refer right in your back if you have low back pain you will feel relief oh Good, I almost don't want to get off this here, but I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, so again, I'm going to show you from the side what it looks like. You're here. There's my bell. I'm just laying right on top of it. I flip the kettlebell down. Um, I've seen people do it with the kettlebell handle as well sometimes. You can do that. Okay, so my leg is straight here. And then if I'm going to do the up dog, I'm just kind of stretching like so. My other leg is bent. You see it's up like so. That's just for control. So if I just lay straight on it, I can do that too. But I like to just do it with the leg out if it's comfortable with your, on your hip. Okay, feels great. And there you go. That's releasing your psoas to help with low back pain. If you're a runner, if you're a biker that spends a lot of time bent over, and this sort of thing. Uh, if you sit at a desk for long periods where your psoas gets short, that also um, can be an issue. And then there's a couple of postural things that you can keep in mind too to take with you. Uh, if your feet tend to turn out or your hips externally rotate, actually that is actually from the hip. Um, if you have an external rotation, you, have, you definitely have a psoas that's tight. 
Um, and if your toes tend to roll in and your butt kind of pops out, then that tends to be a little bit more tightness in your hip flexors. Yes, you can have both. Um, and it can cause, you know, tightness in your lower back and your, in your hips and that sort of thing. So, okay, give that a try. LaCour here again, Why Massage Body Work and Natural Fitness. I hope you guys uh, um, experience some relief from this video. And I hope you have a good Thanksgiving. Check us out. We're at whymassage.net. You can go online. You can schedule an appointment. You can uh, send me an email. Shoot me a, um, a little message in the link there. And make sure you like the video if, you, if it helps you. Pass it on to a friend or someone. And uh, hope you enjoy. Again, have a great Thanksgiving. Peace and many blessings.